Good morning on this Friday. I'm Nikki Stanzione and this is New Mexico Style and I'm all alone again, alone again. But you know what? I'm never alone when I have all of you out there to join me in the morning and so happy it's Friday, right? TGIF, we got to do our morning raise the roof, whoop, whoop, even though I'm doing it by myself. Anyway, it's Friday. Clearly, I'm happy. Now, not so happy about this news. Unfortunately, really devastating worries across the East Coast right now. Hurricane Irene is heading straight for the Carolina coast. New York City and Boston are preparing for the worst. Where will this historic storm hit? Fox News correspondent Elizabeth Prawn has the latest. After rocking the Caribbean, monster storm Hurricane Irene is heading straight for the East Coast. President Obama declaring a state of emergency for North Carolina to provide federal aid. The latest projections suggest Irene could make landfall in the state on Saturday. Hurricane Irene now looks like she may have a bigger impact on North Carolina than what we expected. In Virginia, the Navy sending warships, including an aircraft carrier, to safer waters to ride out the storm. Out there you can bounce around in the waves, whereas if you're in a pier, you're hitting up against something very hard. Many people vacationing in Virginia Beach say they're leaving early. This is our family vacation for the year. Uh, we want to try to squeeze as much in as we can. Uh, the plans were already made, and now we got an earthquake and we got a, a, you know, a hurricane. This hurricane is threatening about 65 million people along the East Coast. In fact, given the forecast track, and even if the track shifts a little bit one way or the other, this is likely to be a once in at least a generation storm for many people in the northeast of New England. In New York City, mandatory evacuations have been ordered for nursing homes and hospitals in low-lying areas. Officials are also preparing to shut down the nation's largest public transit system. The city has only seen five hurricanes since 1851. What we have to do is assume the worst, prepare for that, and hope for the best. Several states have now declared a state of emergency along the East Coast. Experts are keeping a close eye on Hurricane Irene as she could grow stronger in those warm Atlantic waters. In Virginia Beach, Elizabeth Pran, Fox News. Of course, as mentioned, states of emergency across the East Coast are happening in multiple states as Irene is expected to get more powerful and moves through the warm Atlantic water. So we'll keep our fingers crossed for everybody on the East Coast. I certainly have a lot of family there, so hoping that this will not be the situation at the Jersey Shore. Calmer conditions here in New Mexico and plenty to do this weekend. We can definitely be thankful that uh, we don't have to worry about this. Fox's Courtney Friel has what's new at the movies. While there aren't any big 3D movies opening this weekend, you'll still get your fair share of laughs, scares, and revenge. Take a look. Come take a look at the house. Horror fans are sure to be spooked by Don't Be Afraid of the Dark, starring Guy Pearce and Katie Holmes. The R-rated flick follows a couple restoring their 19th century Rhode Island mansion. The haunting begins when their daughter comes to visit and the creatures in the basement try to claim her as their own. Ned just showed up. I can't just kick him out. In the comedy Our Idiot Brother, find Paul Rudd channeling his inner hippie and wreaking havoc on his three neurotic sisters, played by Elizabeth Banks, Zoe Deschanel, and Emily Mortimer. The three take turns housing their upbeat homeless brother and soon discover he's not such an idiot after all. Who are you? Not on a service. In the action thriller category, Columbiana tells the story of a young woman in Bogota who grows up to be an assassin after she witnesses the murder of her parents. Zoe Saldana plays Catalia, who's determined to seek revenge against the gangster who destroyed her life. We have our quirks, but what family doesn't? In limited release, but packed with star power, is The Family Tree, starring Christina Henricks, Dermot Mulroney, Rachel Lee Cook, Selma Blair, and Jane Seymour. A dysfunctional family in suburban Ohio gets a second chance at happiness after a freak accident leaves their mother with amnesia. Maybe if we try to do some things together as a family, that would help bring things back. Also out this week in limited release, actress Vera Farmiga makes her directorial debut and stars in Higher Ground. And Chasing Madoff reveals the true story of an investigator and his team's hunt to take down Bernie Madoff's Ponzi scheme. In New York, Courtney Friel, Fox News.
Well, if you don't make it out to the movies, but you feel like getting out and about, lots to do across New Mexico, just hit the ground running tomorrow morning and head over to the first annual Rob Fitness Charity Walk and Run, benefiting the American Diabetes Association. Check-in is at 7.30 at the north parking lot of Outpost Ice Arena. Nice thing about this is that all proceeds stay in New Mexico to help New Mexicans who are suffering from diabetes. So get out, get some exercise, and do something wonderful for everybody uh, who is trying to fight diabetes right now. And get your groove on at the DXS Dance Experience. We talked about that yesterday. The high energy evening of dance is actually going to be tonight and tomorrow at the South Broadway Cultural Center. Shows start at 7.30. Tickets are only 15 bucks, and part of the proceeds benefit New Mexico Animal Friends, a no-kill animal rescue. So get your groove on for sure. That's going to be fun. Now, of course, the floods swept away the Dixon Apple Orchard this week, and the community of El Dorado, located southeast of Santa Fe, is hosting a benefit on Saturday and that's going to be at La Tienda Shopping Center and certainly we want everybody to get out and support that because uh, certainly a big loss for the community with uh, what happened with the flooding so we will say our prayers for them as well. And you can spice up your Sunday. This is going to be fun at New Mexico Centennial Salsa Fest in Las Cruces. This is a family friendly event. It is free which is so cool of course and starts at 11 on the downtown mall. So get your salsa on. Woo -woo. I love to salsa. I love to eat salsa and I love to dance salsa. I don't know about you but it's definitely a worthwhile event. All right, now, of course, we're talking about getting out and about, but when we think about getting out and about, we don't have to worry about Hurricane Irene, but we do have to consider what Mother Nature has in store for us this weekend. Here's John Smith with our forecast.